What's goody? We are It's Amigas. And today, guys, we're going to be giving you guys a bunch of feminine tips overall. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to start with you, Jenny. What do you have? I have something on the top of my head. Um, You need a separate soap for your the JJ area. Like, you cannot be using, like, if you use Dove body soap or a body wash, you cannot be using that down there because you shouldn't be using scented stuff all the time every day down there uh, so i always buy like my whole bottle of something separate even like a bar of soap if you live with your man whoever you live with everyone's touching that with their hands that's effing gross mm -hmm. so you need and it's sitting there with scum like yeah. in the bathroom if you don't wash your bathroom like that so you need a separate soap body. yes guys technically we don't even need soap for our bodies mm -hmm. we just need warm water just need water honestly to to really like clean yourself you we don't even need it we just do the extra stuff no, I need soap. No, no i need soap like i i need my soap yeah. but but like we don't really need it no 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 i know overall yeah. so. you need the soap um i only have period stuff so i don't even know where to go um what else about down there um Hey underwear man, I know y'all wanna be sexy with the thongs and stuff, but thongs, mm -hmm. yo, just wear them when you go out. Like if you have a dress in, it's just gonna show. Just wear that. We should be wearing underwear that fits us. Do not get a underwear that you feel like, oh, it fits me, but it's like tight on the thighs. You wanna get a yeast infection or what? Not only that, but when they're too tight, even in my pants sometimes. It cuts your stomach, and then you have that permanent line there. I have it yeah. right now because mm -hmm, me too. I be wearing low rise and stuff like that. Just cuts your stomach for no reason. Then you just be having the little, the little thingy right there, and it's just don't do that. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't know their under underwear size. Like your underwear size should be at like a size bigger. Facts. I love my grannies. Like, I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> that's that's the most comfortable and the best for your vagina. Your vagina needs space. Your boyfriend should breathe. understand if it, if it, if that's cotton the case. Is the best, yes, mm -hmm. cotton. Is the I best. love cotton. Like legit, I don't feel comfortable if I don't have cotton on. It's so crazy. I know. I feel like I have place to come on. I feel like I'm going take this off. Yes, me too. What you got? I have. I. What do you have, Leo? You just had something that I. I'm just gonna add it to you guys, but the whole the whole underwear thing. What else down there? Um, um shaving. Yeah, shaving. Coconut oil, baby. Um, like shaving is so bad for you, even if you wax, even if you do anything, like, like it's just bad. I know, I know if hair is supposed to protect us from infection, it's supposed to protect us from certain things entering our body. And yes, I know when it gets too much, it gets gross, but you can always trim it. You can, if, if you get razor bumps, there's like tricks, like Jenny said, coconut oil, um, you just don't want to. You just don't want to shave there too often, especially Latinas and and and, and African Americans. We just we just can't be doing that too much, you know. Um, but if you can afford to go do laser removal or wax all the time, then that's a goal. That's to a do goal. laser removal, my whole body. Yo, look at these arms, y'all. They just I'm just hairy. hairy. Like look at this. You. This is crazy. I got highlights on my <laughs> low key. Yo, look at this. Oh um, so some of the tips that I have are period tips. Guys, I get the worst cramps, I feel like, of all history. So something you should always carry with you is a heating pad. If you guys didn't know, if you go to CVS or any pharmacy, there's these little heating pads that are like this big. It's probably like $7.99 for like four of them. And you just took took off the paper and you can just put it right here and it legit you can't see it it does it, it's literally gonna be the most relieving pain painless i can't even talk <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be reveal re, re, relieving. relieving it's gonna be relieving yes i've had one of those before abby has gave me them i never knew like i never had one before and i get my period i feel like she gets it worse than i do but i'm pretty much up there with my period always since i was mm -hmm. young you can even ask my sister yeah, you like, got pretty bad too um so that that was like amazing man yo i, I look for every trick that. when it comes to your period i look for every trick. what do you do you gotta eat up in the microwave no literally it activates as soon as you take off that one paper and it lasts just 12 hours it really even more than that. that's crazy. like you just you forget you have it sometimes and it will 
yo, it will take away the pain. Like, you can drink the pills and you can have that on and you'll just, after a while, you'll just forget. And it's just like, it's fire. Like, me, for example, I can only drink a leaf. I've tried every single pill, I swear. Like, yeah, my don't work. My is like drinking nothing. Tylenol, forget it. Ibuprofen, it works, but it takes forever. A leave is the best thing for when you have your period. Guys, something you shouldn't do before getting your period, like a week before, do not paint your nails or use anything with acetone. People say it's a, a myth, but guys, it's true. Like, for real, for real, for real. If you paint your nails or and you got bad cramps like me, if you paint your nails or use anything with acetone, your cramps are going to get crazy. Yeah, listen to me. If you drink anything with lemon or anything with citrusy, your cramps are going to be crazy. Do not do it. You got Like, right now, I'm going to get my period soon. And I'm not drinking no lemonade. I can't paint my nails. I can't do none of that. It's like, it's like annoying because I love lemon, but mm -hmm. them cramps, them cramps be crazy. I never noticed that. Like, when she mentioned it. I was like, oh snap! Like when I started drinking lemon, and I was like, yo, my cramps get worse. I was like, wow, I never knew that. Mm -hmm. And so even crazy. being barefoot, being barefoot while on your period or when you're about to get it makes your cramps worse. And those things make your period come even way faster. Also, having sex makes more. your period come way faster too. Yep. Um, Doesn't really. I don't even. I don't have a period, guys. I have a birth control, so. Guys, make sure you change your pad. Yes, like three, four times really. a day. Exactly, please. like please don't last. I think every two hours we should. Change yeah, it. don't last a hundred years with a pad on. Yes. You can get so much infections. It's disgusting. Yes, and tampons, forget it. Tampons are. So I I use do. them here and there, but tampons are not good for you. Especially, yeah. to, do not sleep with a tampon. You know what? I'm getting crazy right now. Do not no. sleep with a tampon. Don't do that. Like some people, I feel like somebody either died. And I seen something that somebody's leg got amputated of getting an inspe an infection off of a tampon. Yeah. And Who would have thought? My mom last year she actually had a patient, and she had like this foul smell coming out of her, like her mm -hmm. private area, and they couldn't find anything. They couldn't find anything. The girl's like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So they were gonna do like a pap, a pap smear to see what she had in there. So when they did the pap, she had a fucking tampon stuck in there for I don't even know how long. Like it was like my mom said it was black. Like the, she how almost do you forget you have a tampon? Smelled so bad, like you know how something just like you open something and just bombs the whole room. That's what it did in a matter of seconds. So I have a little story about tampons. I used to use it a lot. Um, just last year I stopped using it. Um, because the last time I used it, um, I think I had it on for a little too long. I didn't sleep with it, but I had it on for too long. You know, it was like the ending of my period. So it was like, I wasn't like, Your spot it, wasn't, it wasn't that I had to change it like crazy, but I still had it on for too long. And as, as soon as I took off the tampon, the right side of my hip started hurting. And I'm like, what is that? And, you know, I didn't pay attention to it for a little bit then. The entire week I was like, yo, this pain hasn't left. Like, what is this pain? What is this? So weird. When I went to finally go check, I went to the doctor to go check it out and it was an ovarian cyst. Like, yo, like there's just mass stuff that can happen with tampons. Like you can get you can get a yeast infection, you can get an ovarian cyst, you can get all those things. So unless yeah, like so it's like it's, it's like really serious, and 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 I used to be so pro tampon, like girl tampon this tampon that, so actually something really happened to me, and I was like, oh my god, it's so true what everybody says. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm never using a tampon ever again unless it's like I go to the beach and I want to go so bad and I want to get in the water and I'm gonna have it for two hours max. Yeah, I only wear a tampon if like I'm going out and like my outfit, you know, has to be all big and bulky. Mm -hmm. So like real quick, you just throw on a tampon, but for the most part, I don't care what you guys think. It's disgusting or whatever the case is. I'm, I'm I feel like if you're drinking pads. your pad every two hours and you got weights, it shouldn't even be that bad. Exactly. Like, yeah, you're sitting on your shit, but at the end of the day, I'm sorry. Like, I'd rather that or a tampon, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You don't, you just don't know. Like, like all these freaking factories are putting in that shit. Mm -hmm. so, exactly, all the chemicals and shit. Mm -mm. But another thing that I have, for when you have really bad cramps is this is gonna be the steps basically you wake up you eat something anything three crackers 
I, that's the only thing I can eat is a cracker. Literally, because because you're nauseous and you gotta throw up at the same time. Trust me, I know the whole night. I fainted because of my period for God's sake. <laughs> Legit. Um, so after you eat that, you take the pill, drink something. It could be a hot tea that always helps. Anything hot helps. Cold stuff does not help. It gives you more cramps. You go in the shower, you put hot water on, or if you don't want to go in the shower, you just put the heating pad. You go in a dark room and you just put some water soothing music, rain, thunder, whatever, and you will knock out. Literally, you just gotta stay calm, relax, you will knock out. You know, that's so crazy. That's legit the same way, the same way I have to do it. Like, that nap is important when you have cramps. You have to yes, take you that have to, nap. And you have to go to sleep. Like, you have to go to sleep. Because if you don't go to sleep, you wake up brand new too. You wake up actually hungry, not nauseous no more. Like, you know how much times I've taken pills and had to throw it right back up and yep, had to take too. it back and throw it up and take it back? Like, that's what I'm saying. Just eat some crackers, keep it nice and simple. Just eat enough. Like, like I have to take, crackers? yeah, I have to take like four to five pills in order for my cramps to go away. So I have to down saltines. Like, I can't just eat three or four. I have to eat a lot because it's a lot for my stomach, especially on an empty stomach, especially after throwing up. Just make sure you eat. That's like important because pills are really bad for your stomach. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't I don't take no pills. Like I don't care if I have a headache, I don't care what the pain is. I take no pills because I drink so many pills when it comes to my cramps. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um what was I gonna say? Um Yeah, what thank God now that I'm older my cramps are not as they're bad, but yo, when I was younger better now, yeah. I used to scream in my bed like Remember Elaine? Do you remember? I you remember. I remember you one time in school too. Like you look dead, and I'm like, oh, I kid throwing me. up. I think I'm one time. Always had to pick me up. Like I went to no. my mom's room, kid. I I I woke up. I couldn't hear. Mm -hmm. I everything was blurry. I couldn't see. It was like tunnel vision. I got in the shower. I couldn't even hear myself in the shower. And then I went to my parents' room, and they were like, "What's going on? Well, like, what's going?" On? And then boom, I just fainted from period. Like that's, yep, that's how crazy that pain is like sometimes I feel like maybe I should try to give birth naturally because I be having the craziest cramps that I'm just like yo I'm sure it's gonna be a thousand times worse but maybe I could take it because yo I've had some I have yeah, had some can. crazy cramps like I went to the hospital they gave me um Vicodins and it took forever to work like just it's just been crazy that like, shit gets you mad woozy too like you can't even function with those mm -hmm. crazy ass meds no, I, I'm so surprised that like all these years I've even gotten special pills from DR like and them pills used to work good But nothing like a leave and I'm mad that all these years I've been suffering When I just had to leave here this whole time take getting pills from another country So my, every time somebody went up one of my family members used to go I used to please bring me back these pills because as soon as they were done I was stressed like oh my god, what am I gonna take now? I took it all the pills in the world and they don't work until I try to leave now that's what I go by. Aleve is good. Aleve is just everything. Anything. Yeah, and I remember my pediatrician, like, we tried everything. He used, he used to say, oh, I used to have to take pills a week in advance. I can can you believe that? Before. I would have to take pills, uh, uh, ibuprofen of like a thousand every single day so that when the day came, it wasn't bad. And you know how bad that is for you? Like, for a so doctor bad. to even recommend that, like that's so bad for your stomach you can get all sorts of stomach diseases because of that for that's real. terrible also if you feel like you have really bad cramps please check yourself for endometriosis because a lot of women that have bad cramps have that and it just takes a quick little surgery to take it away i got checked for it one way and they said they couldn't see it so i didn't have it mm -hmm. but they wanted to check like through they put like a little camera through my belly button to check good but i said nah yo man i don't want to do all that's my work <laughs> Oh, so I didn't as this day I don't know if I have it or if I don't have it but a couple of my aunts said that they did have it and and they just got that quick little surgery and that's it their cramps are not nothing crazy so if your cramps are crazy check yourself for that because it yeah, can be a little surgery time. away like to be gone that's why I got my birth control but even this birth control is not good for you because it oh, messes no. with your hormones and all that stuff like I mean by 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 all means like this implant on is good like at first I used to get like like hot flashes and stuff like that but i don't get anything from it but still like mm -hmm. in the future i want to take it off but the reason why i got it was because i bled too much like i would have to get mattresses all the time i would have to get new pants all the time my mom even had to have surgery because 
the same thing not too long ago because in our family we just bleed way too much yeah, I don't so my friend was like oh um i got this and i stopped bleeding when we was like 17. i was like oh i so i tried it but and it took it away but even now like i've had it for i don't even know how long and i, I kind of want to take it off because it's not you know it's not good for you it's, it's shit going in your body yeah i have control too i have the patch it's pretty cool to me but still like yeah Breath control, breath control. Like I don't know. To me, it'd be fishy. I'd be like, yeah. Scared. I had this for so long. It's like I'd be scared. Like oh my god, can I have kids? Oh my god, can yeah. That's my thing because I've had it for so long. Like and I'm gonna take it off right now. So because you know, because then we trying to do something with ourselves. We don't want to have kids. Exactly. You have a partner that you gotta. You know, you can't just be selfish. Like, nah. Even though you know, sometimes I be a little selfish. <laughs> but no, yeah. Scary. I'm not. I was on the pill. When was it like? Last year I wasn't consistent. I had yeah, to, I'm not consistent. I had, to, I had to cut it out. Like my my pain, my period came. It was more for my period. Yeah. My period pain came worse. Worse. And you got even, twice a month. And I didn't. It didn't even come. It no pain. It came legit worse. Like I was like, okay, what's this? I so I'm just not on it. I'm so against it. But if I have to get on it, honestly, for the future, then yes, that's what I'm gonna have to do because I have to sacrifice. But other than that, I'm not on it. I'm yeah, not, I'm I've not, had. I'm against. I had the worst, the worst thing. So instead of getting the cramps like she did, I got the nausea and stuff. So I had to throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up the whole time. That's the thing about birth control is that you don't know it. Your everybody's body is different. You don't know how it's gonna affect your body, and it's in your body. So that's why I'm on the patch right now because it's a stick. I can take it off, you know. But pills like stuff. Them? Yeah, I like it. You see what this one I just get moody. I just That's think it. that's like, crazy. I don't really like nothing. Not a sticker. What does that sticker have? Just not that sticker glue sticker. That's what I feel with this. Like what are you putting out to my body that I'm not getting right It's really weird. And it's just literally like you know when they do like EKG, is that what it's called? Yes. EKG? It's like a sticker like that but thinner. Is it like electrolyte? I don't have it on right now because I, like, I would show you, but like, yeah, I think that's what yeah, it is. You can't take it off for all seven days. Like, if it comes off, you gotta just, start the whole thing off. I don't know. I just I don't I like I obviously love this birth control because I had it for so long and I'm gonna have it for a little longer I mean when it's my time to take it off I have two years left I won't put it back in but I don't know it's just fishy to me like there's something in here that's making me not get pregnant it's just weird I, know. I don't know it is weird it's, it's kind of scary it even, is to, scary. even to trust it it's your, your, your eggs yeah it's, it's, it's that super scary you are you pregnant that was it it tricks your eggs into thinking you're already pregnant, so that's why you don't get pregnant. Like, it's fucking weird. Oh, no. I don't know. I, I was on birth control for a year, and I was like, nah, shit. But I was on the pills. And I don't you know, see, was, I'm not consistent was, with that. Even if I was consistent, I just got sick. Too. Yeah. I just got sick. This, the, even the, like the patch, sometimes it comes. You know, when you're in the shower and you're um, like, I usually have it on my on my butt right there because. You can have it here, you can have it right here, but you know, in the summertime, you don't want people yeah. to. You can have it on your back. I don't want people to be all up in my business, so I usually just usually just have it on my little butt cheek. And um, sometimes when you're when you're when you're drying yourself with the towel, it lifts or like it comes off. So it's just like, oh, that's the only part that's annoying. So when it comes off, you can put it back on and it still works. You have to put a whole new one on, oh, and yeah. you gotta start it over. What do you mean, like? I be trying to be extra precautious. I like to start the full week over. You can't do nothing Not for the sure. full week, even though what I do you have. mean the full week over? Why can't you start from there? Because because it's like it takes like a you know how when you go on the double or any birth control for the first time you gotta oh. have it on for a week before you can do anything. Oh, that's annoying. But like now that I've had it on for a little bit, like my body's sort sort of used to it, so it's just like I feel like I should be fine. But then you don't know. You got like any like side effects? What's your side effects? I think I just got moody on, but I'm old, I'm an always. A moody ass girl, like I don't know. Um, I haven't really gotten crazy side effects. Maybe mm. that I haven't ate as much. I feel like it made me lose my weight. I feel like I was. I a thought little... this made me gain weight, and I was like, I need to take it all to my doctor. He's just like, no, honey, it's just you. This don't make you gain weight. I was like, oh shit. I feel like mine. Too much of this. Too much eating. I feel like mine made me lose weight. I feel like I'm a little skinny. You guys think I'm a little skinny? Yeah, you're skinny. I feel like that. That that could be that. What like it? No, because it, it took your appetite. I know it was when I was taking. Um, pills for the ovarian cysts like I didn't eat like I had a zero appetite it's just because of the medication that I was taking like it's, it's so weird how medication just 
does crazy stuff to your body. Mm -hmm. I'm like so anti medication. Me too. I, hate it. I just hate it. Even even vitamins here. Vitamins be crazy. Mm -hmm. Like they just be lying. Even Whole Foods vitamins sometimes. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> that's what I did. That shit trips here. Oh, right. I'm pregnant. Mm -mm. I, I thought it was something crazy. It sounds crazy, but it's really true. I know, cause you don't for vitamin it's, D, it's, you don't need any of that. For vitamin C, go eat fruits. Like you don't really need any pills or anything like that. My mom shoves all these vitamins down my throat with these. Like I like fish oils. Like I, I like fish, fish oil. oils. Like yeah, I like that. fish oils too. Like I like the natural. Crazy. Um, I like like the natural oils and stuff like that. And guys, don't don't let guys disrespect you when it comes to your period, cause they ain't never gonna understand. I am dying to buy a, you know that machine that people have been having? The cramping machine? Yo, I am feeling for this machine. Please guys, comment down below where I can find this machine. It's true. I it's am true. feeling, cause this, when I was they little, like, I can take that. Like, yo, when I was little, I remember I used to be on the floor crying because of my cramps. And my mom wasn't home, my grandma wasn't around, mm -hmm. and my dad used to have, be the one taking care of me. And he... <laughs> Yo, he never understood. He used to be like, clean your room right now. I don't care. That's natural. That's normal. Yo, and there was nothing in this world that... That's normal. Get up and clean your room. Yo, because that's literally the worst pain ever. Guy, even when you're at a job, guys never understand. Even... So, yo, yo, you know what's even worse than guys? Females that don't that's get bad pain. And they'll be like, oh, it's not that serious. Because then mom. it gives the, the, it gives the guy... Like the right to be like, oh, you see, yeah. it's fine. You, it's not that serious. They different. don't get it, and that pisses me off. Like my shit is bad. You oh, my God. God. So, yeah, I used to dead throw up, take the pill. And even, oh, even now, so, like, randomly then I used to have to do some crazy thing to like keep my the pill inside my. Stomach. I gotta say, man, retarded. Like even yes. now when I get it, like I get it like maybe like um once every two three months now. But like the other day, not too long ago, I had it, and and my man's like. I, I was like, oh, this is so bad. Like, I didn't even know. I was, he's like, nah, I probably think I could take it. I'm like, no. How'd you feel? No. Something's freaking out your wang, like bleeding. You're not even gonna know what to do. What about blood clots? Cause, oh, those are the yo, you get the crazy. Mm, you I get the craziest crap when that comes. When that comes out, it's just like, I be like, mm. it's so weird. It's so disgusting. Like, like I be like, it's so disgusting too. It's just disgusting. It's nasty. And guys, don't be understanding what we have to go through. Yo, and talking about that pain, because for some reason, when we get our periods, our um, our not immune system. What's the what's the 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 Nervous. no? Like we get we poop more. Yo, yeah, that's the worst. What was it called? Both. Our thing system. Our digestive. System. Digestive. digestive system just stops moving. Like it got. It got all the thing, all the power in there. Uh -huh. Because as soon as I get my period, I gotta poop. And imagine with that pain. So when you're pooping, right? Oh, so and nasty. you got the pain, and the poop's coming down. The pain is crazy, and you're like stiff as you're trying. Not even that when that blood clot comes out at the same time. Oh my god, it's the worst. And you're stiff like this because sometimes, you know, sometimes the 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 pressure of you the, can't the, even wipe. The, the like, pressure, you're nasty if you pressure wait, and you put the your pressure at a weird angle, like. The pressure of the 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 the, blood the, the, the no the the pressure of the poop. Of the sorry, I'm being gross. The pressure of the poop coming down and and and, you and your pain. You're, you're, you're like this, huh? Yo, seriously, it's some. No, it's some when you guys talk wrong. about like fainting and like feeling dizzy and shit, that's because um, women, especially when they have the period, I noticed too with me, and like women who I've given birth, they feel like very nauseous and this. That's because they're low on iron. Like obviously, you're wearing 